Okay, now that things have quieted down a bit, I can continue. What I did while my dog was barking is I went ahead and I removed the screws already to save some time. I removed the two screws from the gears. I removed the two screws from the handle and I loosened the screw on this roller. And you just take the gears out. And by the way, there were two washers that went along with the screws for the gears. So I put those with the screws, put them in a safe place, again, where they won't be knocked over or eaten by your dog. So I removed all of these. And then I took the cover off the handle. And this trigger comes out pretty easily. It's just held in by a little spring. Make sure that you don't lose the spring. <clears throat> and now I'm going to flip this over and remove the three screws that are holding in the roller assembly. And it is important that you remember which screws go where. In my case, it was easy because they're all very different screws. But if they look similar, then you might want to label them and wrap them up in a piece of the masking tape. Okay. Now this just pops out like that. And you have everything taken apart. I was almost able to pop the hinges off on this cover and then the only thing I would have had to mask, the only things I would have had to mask were these two spindles right here. But this hinge would not budge and I didn't want to break it so I wound up just masking this whole cover off. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I did was I ran this masking tape along all the sides and for the front, the outside of the front and the inside, I just wrapped paper over it and I taped the paper down really well and it worked just fine for me. If you want to go ahead and use the painter's tape or the masking tape for the whole thing, that'll work too. Again, I also taped off this part. And then it was just a matter of using the Krylon Fusion Spray and you follow the directions that are on the back of the can. What they tell you to do is to um, wait 15, in 15 minutes it's dry to the touch and in an hour you can handle it. And I think I used three coats and I waited about maybe 20 minutes in between each coat and it worked out just fine for me. And right now I'm going to show you how to put it back together. It's really, it's not bad. It really isn't, <clears throat> may seem a little scary, but it goes back together very easily. The first thing I put back was the trigger. Again, make sure that you push that spring in far enough and that just goes right back into place. The handle goes right back on. Okay. For the gears make sure that you put the large one down first and make sure that it engages into the trigger. Then actually you would have to put the roller assembly back on and you should see some notches there where this just will snap right into place. Okay. And then what I would do, I'm, I'm going to stop the video because I don't think you want to see me just put the screws back in, it's not very exciting. So I'll be back with the screws back in place and then I'll flip it over and show you how to put 
the last the last three screws that hold this together and the roller. I'll be right back. 